Hello everyone. We are from Annamacha Institute of Technology and Sciences, Rajampet. From the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, we are doing project on design of QC-based XR and XNR structure under the guidance of Sudha Kiran sir. These are the session outlines that we are going to see in this project. The main objective of project is to replace the current CMOS logic of XR and XNR structure using QC and Nano technology. Now we already know QC is quantum dot cellular automata, which is the most promising technology when compared with the traditional CMOS technology. And we also have several advantages uh, in QC well compared with the CMOS that is the uh, very ultra high density, fast switching speed in which is up to terahertz and ultra power consumption, ultra po low power consumption, which is when compared these this comparison we are doing when compared with one CMOS when compared with one quantum cell. Uh, this is how the QCA will work in background that we can see uh, QCA cell con uh, consists of four potential wells. In these po four potential wells, we are placing charge carriers due to Coulombic effect. No two electrons can be uh, placed in two adjacent cells. So the two charges will be always in opposite opposing sign due to that we can see how the logic zero will appear when two electrons are placed in this position we can we can see it is as a logic zero when two electrons are placed in this position we can see it as a logic one which will act as a logic one in qca and here we can see uh, some of the designs using qca here we can implement simple qca logic of inverter here we are giving logic zero as input Due to Coulombic effect, here we can we can observe there is no electron present here over here due to two electrons are repelled and this electron will place here. Due to this, the above the opposite electron will be placed this. That's uh, the process will continue up to here. We can see here we can give a logic zero, but we can observe here we can get logic one, which act as an inverter. Same like this the other uh, logic, logic that we have implemented for the same uh, which is a inverter based on QCA the same logic what we have seen over here that will be uh, applicable over here here we can see there is no two adjacent electrons will be placed due to that the two electrons will be repelled and this will be carried out over here like that the here we can give input as a logic zero but we can see we can observe over here we can get a logic one as output and some of the application we can also implemented here the majority three input gates uh, circuit that, that is when majority inputs are high the output will be high otherwise the output will be zero here the existing diagram that we get which is a traditional logic diagram of uh, xor gate that is when a, a B bar plus A bar B, which is a logical expression for XR gate. So we already know this is the current CMOS technology uh, that we are uh, using in order to uh, implement the XR gate. Here we can see uh, we already know uh, one CMOS series combination is uh, uh, one CMOS series combination is equal to the uh, PMOS parallel combination based on that logic we are implemented XR gate over here which is we can complement XR gate we will get XNR gate that we are implemented using QCA but due to some drawbacks that what we have discussed in earlier we are going to QCA technology this is the existing system in QCA logic here we can see that what we have uh, seen in uh, inverter logic it's the same logic based on the same logic we have implemented QCL QCL logic to implement the XR gate. This is the convention. Uh, this method will also we are implemented based on the conventional logic that what we have seen earlier. But now we have proposed another logic that is uh, which we are uh, that is which we are uh, seeing here. Uh, this is the uh, QCA logic that we have uh, proposed one that is XR gate. Uh, we have seen the simulation results uh, that XR gate how 
will be act like the same as uh, we already know when xr gate when two inputs are same the output will be zero when two inputs are different the output will be one here we can see the different clocks if the clock we can see positive at z's when the positive edge arrive the clock will be uh, the uh, gate will be on when the uh, negative edge will be arrive the gate will be off based on the different clocks we can we can see the output over here when this is the input that is a this is the input that is b when two inputs are same the output will be zero that we can see over here when two inputs are different the output will be one that we can see over here the based on the different clocks we can able to see the observation of uh, the output of xr gate and also now what we have observed based on the proposed and existing logic means the conventional xr gate when we have implemented using qca that is uh, traditional logic we observe that we need 98 cells in order to implement using qca but while using proposed xr gate that is uh, by using proposed logic we observe that the number of cells has reduced the number of cells has reduced also the area will also reduce not only that but also the total energy consumption also reduce while compared with the traditional logic that is that is the major observation that what we have seen and also qca based xor gate in qca based xor gate the same logic that we have applied but instead of here uh, in qca instead of taking output here we have uh, we have complemented the output we already know when the xor gate is complemented we can get output as xnor gate output which is the logical expression of a bar b bar plus ab the same simulation result that what that we have get over here this is the logical input of xnor gate a this is the input of b to input xnor gate the simulation output that we have get over here for different clocks for for clock clock 0 what the response of the xnor gate of qca for clock 1 for, for clock 2 for clock 3 the based on the different clocks the how the output will be there uh, for a different input we already know when the two inputs are same for xnor gate the output will be high when two inputs are different for xnor gate the output will be low uh, which is quite opposite to the uh, xr gate when comp when we come across with the two input but the three input xr and xnor gate both are same so based on two input we have simulated this results and also we have see that the conventional xnor and the proposed xnor gate with conventional xnor gate the number of the number of cells will required is 100 but proposed xnor gate the number of cells required is 78 the total energy consumption is also reduced when we design the qca of xnor gate using the using proposed method that is proposed logic uh, we can say that is here we can observe that number of cells has reduced and the total energy also reduced the tool that we are uh, using in order to simulate the uh, qca uh, that is qca based Uh, designer tool that the in this software we are uh, in this tool we are uh, using uh, to simulate the to design the xr and xnor gate using qca uh, we can see the total summary of uh, our project we in the study we demonstrated xr xnor logic gate the finding has practical implementation for the design of various useful circuitry inside the qca domain wherein efficiency in a primary objective indeed a novel xr and xnor logic circuit has been presented the proposed xr and xnor logic circuit was shown to have fewer cells and consume less energy and we can see uh, even though num the number of cells are very high when compared with the cmos but the area consumption will be very low when compared with the cmos technology so we can also the frequency the operating frequency when compared with cmos the qca has a very high operating frequency which is up to terahertz which is very high switching action we can say 
so which also have uh, based on this we can able to say the propagation delay of the qc is also very less when compared with the cmos and also uh, we can say the area will be less and power consumption will be less and the power dissipation is also less based on uh, considering all these factors uh, we are going to uh, look into qca instead of cmos um, these are the references that we have gone in order to implement this project and thank you thank you very much